Scorpion Interactive Web Support Portal Support Request Training Video 1. Scorpion Interactive is a web-based support portal designed to provide clients with 24-hour support and correspondence. The support portal allows clients to post support requests, receive feedback on support requests, and correspond with support engineers. This training video will show you how to log into the support portal, enter a support request, view the status of all your support requests, and correspond with the support engineers. Once logged in, feel free to explore many functions of Scorpion Interactive. Additional training videos will be posted to the Datatech ITP YouTube account each month. The web address for the support portal is http mysupport.datatechitp.com. You should have received an email with your username and password. Your username will be your primary email address. If you have not received your login information, you re can request a login by clicking the Request Login link. You just need to fill out the form and it will be confirmed within the hour during regular business hours or within four hours after hours. So we'll take a look at that first. Uh, again, the URL is mysupport.datatechitp.com as you can see in the address bar here. Your interactive login goes here and if you do not have a uh, login yet, you can click the request login, fill out the simple form, and click add. The request will be submitted to the support engineers and they'll get back to you very quickly. In this case, I already have my login. And so once I click the login button after logging in, I'll be presented with uh, my support options page. To enter a support ticket, simply click the support ticket button. And again, feel free to go back later and explore the other functions. On the support ticket screen, you'll have some options depending on your login and what services you have. Simply click the support option that closest, uh, closely resembles what your support need is. If you're, not, if you're unsure, simply click the general support request. Fill out the form with as much information as you can and be as detailed as you can. The more information you provide, the faster the support engineer can assist you. So we'll just put some general information in here. You can see that uh, the ticket already has your basic information. And you can go in and change the phone number. You can change the importance. You can also change the date requested for your service. If it's at the end of the day and you don't want a support engineer to call you back until the next morning, then you can put the date and time when you'll be available. You can choose the category. This is a printer issue and the support request type if you know it. If not, you can leave that blank. If you know you're on a specific support contract, you can select that one like Versa Live. And if you have a support agreement with us, you can select that as well. Some clients have multiple support agreements and they may want this support request to go under a specific one. If you're a partner or if you have a support ticket number for a particular uh, device like a Dell computer, you can put that in for reference here. The reference field, you want to give this a title. So can't print to Dell printer. And if you've already called Dell and they've given you a support number, you can put that in here. This is a test for printing to the Dell. So once you've filled this information out, uh, you can click the submit button. Once you click the submit button, you're taken back to the main page. And from here, you can click the view active tickets to now see the ticket that you've entered and see what the status is. As you can see, I have several tickets in here. So I can read by the reference which ticket it is. And there's the latest one that I just put in, can't print to the Dell printer. To view the information on that ticket, I'll just click the ticket number over here and that'll give me the ticket information. On the right hand side of the screen is the interaction tracker. This is where information will be presented by the support engineers once they receive your ticket. Each time that there's an update to your ticket, you'll get an email that'll say there's been an update and you can click on the ticket number to take you directly to the ticket. If you need to co correspond with the support engineer, 
or you need to provide additional information that maybe you forgot in the original ticket, you can simply click the New Interaction button. You'll be presented with the screen. Oh, this. Whoops. Oh, this is a Dell 4452DL printer. So you can give them the model number, which you didn't do in the uh, original ticket submission. Select the category. Uh, again, for this one, we may want to go down to Printer, and then simply click the Submit button. Now, as you can see, that uh, interaction has been entered in the uh, Interaction Tracker list, and it's also been sent to your support engineer and automatically added to your ticket. So at this point, you're waiting for the uh, support engineer to get back to you. You can uh, simply go back to the Support Ticket screen and wait for additional feedback. Go back later and see what information is, is on that ticket. Again, feel free to explore the other options uh, that are available on the support portal, but this does complete our training for how to submit a support ticket and view the response to that support ticket. Thank you.